Hi, this is Tim with Builderoo.com, and I'm talking to Julio about Totem Design and Design Build in collaboration with Go Green Construction. Um, tell me a little about what you do, Julio. Um, I'm a uh, designer, lead AP designer. Uh, I also teach uh, design and architecture at Woodbury University. And um, I founded Totem about uh, four years ago with uh, my partner to be able to deliver a better service to, um, to our prospective clients. Uh, one of the, one of the uh, issues that I've seen over the years practicing both as an architect mm -hmm. and a designer uh, was that um, you, you ten, one tends to do the design in an, in an isolated fashion, right. uh, create a, a set of documents, then you go to a contractor, and then the contractor more often than that comes back and says, well, what were you thinking? There's $20,000 worth of steel here. What, what, you know, is this, yeah, there's you know, a wall between them. Right. So what we wanted to, my partner's a construction manager, and what we wanted to do was to, to be able to design in a way where it's being informed with what's actually happening out in the field. And so we created Totem to, to, to do that. Mm -hmm. And uh, Totem, uh, just so you know, means a hole in Latin. And, it's, and, and we think of what we do as a, an integrated, holistic approach to, to delivering a, a product. And so it's integrated and holistic, not only in terms of how we deliver the service, but it's, with, it's holistic with the planet. That's and great. So We've been green for a long time. I'm originally from Canada, where you're kind of forced uh, to be green if, you, if you're working against uh, the elements. So when I moved out here to do my graduate degree at UCLA, um, started working with a really well-known office called uh, Koning Eisenberg Architecture. They were also green. They're also not from the U.S. or from Australia, where they're also been uh, ahead of the curve. So it, it's been a natural progression. And then in 2004 or 5, uh, I, I became lead uh, accredited. Uh, so that my know-how and and also for clients, there was a way of them, you know, recognizing that I I, I knew what I was doing doing from a, a green side. Mm -hmm. So what makes a totem special is that when we design, when we start off designing a house, uh, the first thing we want to know is what is the budget, what is your schedule, because gotcha. those two items have a huge impact on the design. Yeah. And so, uh, as an example, we did a home in Malibu Canyon where we had a very limited budget and we, wanted to, we needed to be green and it's also in a hillside, it was a burn victim, and so we had to design a home that, that took into consideration all of these elements. And so right off the get-go, get uh, the home I put together had an 18-foot, um, the, the house was essentially 18 feet wide because by doing it 18 feet wide, we can use some simple um, uh, wood construction, like two by 12s, rather than, than going to trusses, and worse, uh, going to steel. So there's no steel in the house. It's all standard two by uh, construction. And by doing that, we've minimized uh, cost, we've minimized uh, time, because these are off the shelf items that you can purchase anywhere. And so to me, what's important about green is not necessarily using all these new technologies that are out there, but just using common sense design skills to design something that has a low impact, that's cost effective. Right. And when you do something where you're using a two by 12, you're, you're being very efficient with, with materials. Um, yeah, it's gotta be a big challenge um, working with the cost constraints um, as a foundation and also just working with material providers because they wanna give you uh, a panel in one set size, and then, um, like, what do you do with everything you have left? But I don't think it's a challenge at all. I think it's the designer's obligation to do that. And I think oh, it's, definitely, yeah. it's it's part of it's, I think it's part of what makes design what it is. And if you're not doing that, I think you're actually not doing your job very well. I'm sure, as a designer, you're the problem solver, right? Uh, well, I hope to be. Yeah. I, I hope to be, and I, I think that's that's the value that I think design brings to the table. And I think you've, if, you, if you're not doing that, then, you know, yes, you can do this big box and put all this technology to it to, to make it green, but that, I think, is not really the spirit of green. The spirit of green is to be efficient um, and, and to use design in a way where you, you, you create this wonderful, simple, passive building. Then, if you've got the budget to put other technology like solar, photovoltaics, uh, then, then you can continue to introduce these other elements and, and make it even greener, but there's so much we can do just by using common sense. Mm -hmm. And I think that's, that's what Totem is about, is, and, and, and that's precisely why we, we have a sort of multidisciplinary approach 
um, so that we bring these construction ideas to the table to help influence us. So if I didn't know that 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 the trust costs more than the two by twelve, uh, I wouldn't have thought of that. I know that because we're out there, you know, playing with numbers all the time. We're out there managing construction jobs, and so we bring that knowledge into the into the um, into the, the design process. And to do that a little more effectively, what we've begun to do is we've we've actually teamed up with Go Green, who we're exhibiting here uh, today. Right. Uh, they are contractors, they're builders, and we've teamed up to, with them so that we actually have the opportunity to completely um, uh, intertwine the two together to provide one holistic service. Great, yeah. Well, I feel like I've got a, a good idea of your mission statement here. So you're not looking to just cram as much, um, you know, photovoltaic crazy new technologies on a home as you can you just no. want to keep it simple and keep it working right correct, yeah. correct. And are you guys keeping busy we're actually very fortunate I like to knock on wood we, we have <laughs> a, we have a number of projects in the office and we're still very busy yes and I think I think part of it has to do with our with our approach I think some clients see the value in what we've put together they see the value uh, in having uh, an office that has both a sort of a uh, management construction side and a, and a design side and uh, now with uh, Go Green sort of uh, helping us uh, to completely intertwine the, the, the service um, I, I think we we sort of stand out over some of the competition. Alright, well that sounds excellent Julio. I hope Bill Drew can help you out with that as much as we can. Well I'll take any help I can take. Excellent, <laughs> thanks for talking with me. Right. This is Tim with BillDrew.com. We're making green easy.